Hi Gemini, this is Wendy from Wendy's Tarot. Welcome to my channel. In this video, I'm going to be asking the cards what awaits for you in love for the week of March 21st to March 27, 2022. I'm going to take a look at your energy, Gemini, and then I'm going to see the energy of your person, whoever it is that you are connecting to and dealing with in love for this week. All right, let's go ahead and get started. Just as a reminder, this is a general reading. It might not resonate for everyone, but if it resonates for you, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I'd really appreciate it. Also, I wanted to say if this reading resonates with you, I will put a link below the video in the description box that will take you to the extended reading if you are interested. All right, let's get started. Let's see your energy first for the week. All right, first card we have for you, Gemini, is the Ace of Cups in reverse, the Magician card, the Judgment card, the Seven of Cups in reverse, the Nine of Wands in reverse, and the Hangman. At the bottom of the deck, we have the six of pentacles upright Okay, so Gemini, I feel like there's something or someone who you don't believe in. I feel like you don't believe in something and I feel like you're you're turning your back to something or you're choosing not to worry about it anymore or, con or concern yourself with it anymore. I feel like you just not you're not seeing the return or you're not seeing the reciprocation of this love interest. Tell me about the magician spirit. Clarify the magician, please. We have the six of swords in reverse and we have the nine of pentacles upright yeah so you're kind of returning back to yourself with the six of swords in reverse it's like you're returning back to to your own self to your own um independence your own um, power your own like sense of control So I'm guessing that means that you you might have deviated from from yourself, from your own self, um, because of a person or a situation, a relationship, connection. You might have disconnected from yourself in some way. You might have overextended yourself. You might have been overly generous with someone, and you kind of. lost yourself in some way because I feel like you're in this energy of coming back to a place of empowerment coming back to a place of focusing on you taking care of you 
Now, this could be just mentally that you kind of deviated from yourself, um, from your own personal journey. It could be that you deviated mentally or emotionally. There might be, and it might have been brief or it might have been not brief um, with something or someone. You might have gotten your hopes up with something or someone. And I do sense, I do feel like there is an energy of... Um, of you coming back to reality, kind of. What's that judgment card, Spirit? The sun. Again, and the king of swords in reverse. Yeah, so again, the sun is kind of this energy of empowerment and independence. And with the judgment card, some of you are just choosing to... to focus on you and to keep building yourself. I feel like, because the magician is kind of a energy of progress, so I feel like some of you are just gonna focus on keep on, on, on building yourself up, on being successful, on leading yourself to, towards victory, towards your own victory. Yeah, the King of Swords is in reverse, so it does look like um, something definitely gave you a wake-up call with the King of Swords in reverse. Like you lost your sense of clarity for a moment in time. You lost your... your um, your intuition. You might have disconnected from your intuition or you went against your intuition, but I feel like you're kind of um, fixing that now. Yeah, I feel like you're fixing that and I feel like you're coming back to a place of clarity and to a place of um, strength and independence. Okay, hopefully that makes sense. Let's move on. Let's take a look at your person now. Let's see if I can talk about your person before the noise starts. It gets really noisy where I live. Spirit, angels, and guys, show me the energy of the person Gemini is connecting to and dealing with in love for this week. Thank you, Spirit. Okay, let's take a look at the energy of your person. First card, we have the Ten of Cups. The Justice card in reverse could be a Libra for some of you. The Two of Cups in reverse. The Four of Swords in reverse. The Ace of Swords in reverse. And the Death card could be a Scorpio for some of you. At the bottom of the deck, we have the Nine of Wands. Let me take a look. Give me one second just to look at the overall picture. Ten of Cups, Justice in Reverse. Two of Cups in Reverse. Or oh, sorry, Jesus, or is that? Hmm, strange energy. Herophon.
I do feel like this is someone who you separated from or you ended things with or there was an ending. Um, and I feel like this is someone who who's still thinking about you even though things ended or there was a separation between you two. I feel like they're still thinking about you. Um, okay, tell me more. What's the Ten of Cups about? The Hermit card. Okay, so they've been they've been in Hermit mode. They've been hiding themselves. And the Sun in reverse. Yeah, this is about this that relates to hiding yourself. The Sun and the Hermit. So they've been kind of um, uh, keeping keeping themselves under the radar, avoiding um, attention. Avoiding your attention. We have the justice in reverse. We do have the justice in reverse, which can represent an energy of guilt. So I do feel like this person feels guilty about something. They feel guilty or regretful about something. And I feel like they're hiding because of that. What's the death card? Five of Pentacles in reverse and the the devil in reverse. Okay, so definitely guilt. Strong energy of guilt and remorse. I do feel like this person wants to return back to you and find a way to, you know, level things out again with the justice card, bring things back to balance. Okay. We do have the star, so they're hoping that there's still an opportunity to to redeem themselves and to fix things with you. By the way, this might be romantic, but it doesn't have to be um cuz I'm not necessarily picking up on romance. It could be romance, but it could be some other type of relationship, okay? So we do have the Three of Swords, which, which is heartbreak, disappointment. And I do see that they, again, they want to heal. They want to heal whatever damage occurred or whatever damage they caused. With the Seven of Cups, I do feel like they've been doing a lot of thinking and analyzing. And I do see that they, they realize their mistakes or they realize their error. And I do see them feeling regret and remorse about this ending or this separation with the death card okay all right i'm gonna stop the reading here i'm gonna continue in the extended i'm going to take a deeper look at what exactly are this person's real feelings for you what are their real actual intentions and what actions will they take towards you by the end of the week if you're interested, you can follow me in the extended. Thank you so much for watching, Gemini. Please give me a thumbs up if this resonated, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye, guys. Take care.